um, in English, this cloud, it's, it, when they say the cloud is hanging over you, it's a negative thing. Yeah? Um, but it's supposed to be a good thing because clouds, uh, they say rain is coming. Cloud or no cloud, money was pouring out of Prasa just over two years ago. The rail agency signed a deal to buy a fleet of locomotives at a cool 3.5 billion rand. Swifambo Rail Leasing secured the contract, and that's where the clouds start to gather. Leaked emails point to a deal between Swifambo and a company called Inala Shipping. Inala was apparently hired to help import the fleet. But there's a catch. Inala is owned by Sufiso Butelezi's brother, Kanyiso. Inala then appoints a company called Sabenza Forwarding and Shipping. But again, there's a twist. Sviso Butelezi is a former Sabenza director. He resigned in 2012 but allegedly held shares in several entities, all with interests in Sabenza. Thank you very much, Minister. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Butelezi is now Malusi Gagaba's right-hand man. The finance minister has been accused of working for the Guptas, and one analyst says the latest allegations will hurt the country even more. The finance ministry now is stripped of its um, professionalism, of its authenticity. You cannot have um, those who control the public purse involved in this kind of thing. The latest mails suggest the Guptas also flex some muscle at the state arms manufacturer. Danel board chair Daniel Mancha has been accused of sharing a confidential mail sent by Public Enterprises Minister Lynn Brown. That mail deals with a proposed joint venture with VR Laser, another Gupta-linked company. Former finance ministers Slantla Nene and Praveen Gordon both questioned the proposal. Both of them were fired. There's no doubt that government is under a cloud. But when it comes to the Gupta leaks, the saying rings true. When it rains, it pours. Michael Marillia, Johannesburg.